Hey everyone, here with us, one of the most humble and talented medicos that I've ever seen in my life. And uh, here with us, Dr. Manohar Sai, who got a very, very good rank of 23 in the NEET SS 2022. And welcome, Dr. Manohar. Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. And how do you feel? And being a repeater, because you said you attempted last time also, and uh, you're attempting one more time. And after achieving success, that after an initial failure, how do you feel? I'm very happy, sir. So initially, I have attempted NEET 2021 uh, in January, sir, for endocrinology. Uh, I got a rank of around 190, but I couldn't get a good seat. So actually, I have prepared for NESS in the May also. But again, I couldn't get a good rank in that also. Then I have started preparing for the NEETS 2022 and definitely Preparator has helped a lot in achieving the dream, sir. Okay. I mean, you said that Preparator helped a lot in achieving the dream. In what way it was helpful? So you want to specifically comment on videos or you want to specifically comment on the MCQ part. So what do you feel is the best part of Preparator? Sir, to start with, after the result of NESS in May, I was quite depressed that I couldn't get into the... Uh, branch. So at that time, I saw Santosh Patil sir's video on how to prepare for the common entrance examination. So one thing that he highlighted is most of the 80% of the questions will come from the 20% of the syllabus. So just try to focus on high yield topics and everything. And then I have also read the preparator blog on the important questions, uh, important uh, high yield topics for the need super specialty. And I started my preparation with that, sir. I started with uh, reading and completing the important topics first. And if time permitted, I then covered the other less important topics. So in that way, I could uh, cover the entire syllabus. But I wouldn't say it entire, but the most of the important topics. And again, the videos, the MCQ discussion videos really helped a lot, sir. It could actually, I could really cover an entire a uh, topic like cardiology or neurology in half a day with the MCQ discussion videos. And again, the tests were really helpful, sir. Every day I used to put it on the custom module and I used to do a bit, uh, 100 to 150 bits every day. And actually some questions are directly from those uh, topics, sir, like uh, the reactivation of herpes joster in the sixth decade. That was like uh, a bits that I have done three to four times uh, repeated in prep ladder, sir. So, yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. yeah, we did get like uh, many direct repeats also from the Preplatter Q Bank. And we got some uh, like topic repeats, like majority of them. I said like 80 to 90 percent yes, of sir, yes, sir. topic repeats. And if you have yes, gone through the treasures and the explanations properly, definitely you would have been able to answer like 80 percent yes, plus questions pretty much easily. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And, uh, and also the grand test, uh, the grand test that was conducted, actually I got 23 rank in that grand test, sir. Now again, I got the same. I got the same rank in the final exam also. Yeah, you got twenty third rank in the grand test and same rank in the final. Ah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's really surprising, and I'm really, really happy for you, man. I don't know because uh, having known you for a long time, I'm really, really happy, like uh, to have seen you in this position. And where did you do your PG? I was from 2018 back, sir. I completed in 2021. Okay. And in, I, I have done that in Rangaraya Medical College, Kakinada, sir. Rangaraya Medical College. Your undergraduation? Uh, Siddhartha Medical College, Vijayawada, sir. And what is your field of interest? What are you planning to choose? Uh, it's endo uh, endocrinology, sir. Yeah, you said already. You attempted INASS endocrine also and you attempted NEET, uh, I mean, NEET SS endocrine also in the previous year. Yeah, yeah you said already. Yes. And it's good, actually. Many people are now coming up with non-interventional fields also. Previously, I used to hear the same thing, cardio, nephro. Same thing over and over again. But right now, people are thinking a little bit different. Now, people are trying to move into non-interventional fields like endocrine as well. Even though you do have some intervention, but relatively lesser interventions compared to your classic yeah. interventional fields like cardio. And why yes, did you sir. take endo? What inspired you to take endo? Uh, sir, actually, there are two aspects, sir. First aspect is most of the endocrine disorders, I believe, are curable if intervened at the right stage right. and diagnosed appropriately. And second thing is there is relatively better work-life balance. And the most important thing is there is still a lot of research being done in the field of endocrinology. And I believe it has so much of scope in the future. 
Okay. Any other reason? I mean, the sense you told two reasons, like you have covered both aspects. Sir. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. All right. So you told about uh, the importance of the MCQs, right? So MCQs are really, really important. Yes, sir. Technically, yes, sir. like you have completed the cube bank in preplatter or uh, you have completed like 80%, 70%, something like that? Uh, actually, I have completed almost like uh, 75%, sir, I'll say. I wouldn't say it, I have done it entirely, but I have done it 75%. And most of the cube bank, I have done it in the test module, sir. But not topic wise question bank, but most of it I have done in the tests. Tests are almost have done 100% of the tests. But coming to the topic wise question banks, I have done like 70 to 75%, sir. And that too in the uh, small topics like rheumatology. Uh, mm -hmm. infectious critical care so initially i have covered 100 percent of the small topics sir for and for big topics like cardiology neurology i have done like uh, 60 to 70 percent of them sir okay. i couldn't have i couldn't find and, much time okay. to complete all. And, uh, it's not really possible like you have so much of mcqs and it's only going to expand in the next qbank 3.0 we are actually planning to cover a lot of mcqs uh at a very basic level also it will be more case-based and uh we are planning like if they study those MCQs, you can cover Harrison and all the modern aspects of medicine. So that's what you're planning to the QBank 3.0. Nevertheless, now itself, the QBank is actually very voluminous and it's very difficult to yes, really yes, complete it. So it's going uh, to be yes, expanded more because we wanted the students to be thorough about the updates also because the conceptual building is very important. That gives you a kind of inspiration to learn more and more. And at the same time, yes, that MCQs itself should make you read theory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is yes, our sir. plan. That is our plan. So our plan is to ideally make a postgraduate student to learn textbooks from MCQs, the entire textbook from MCQs. That is the major goal, and we are striving hard to reach that goal. We'll be reaching very soon. Yes, and apart from that, did you watch the entire videos, or you watch selected videos? And uh, because the the video bank is also very voluminous, you cannot watch all the videos. Uh, yes, sir. So actually, what it, as I said earlier, sir, I just made a list of the important high yield topics from the prep ladder blog. And I started videos related to that, sir. If like cardiology, it's the JVP and MI and some other important topics. So uh, for videos, I have only watched the important topics videos, sir. Okay, that's actually true because uh, what I felt is whatever we have discussed, the important topics, I've told you multiple times in the blogs as well, in the reply to blogs, and even in the YouTube sessions that I've conducted, I told certain important topics. And more than 80% of the questions in the NEET as a 22 actually came from those areas only. That's, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, all those important, important areas. And even I would say like yes. students are telling we got a lot of questions on genetics this year. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Even true. if they have attended the the Q bank properly, there have been a plenty yes, of sir, yes, sir. also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It. They don't realize because they would have probably ignored the genetics part in the Q bank. And if at all yes, I feel sir. like they have attended all the questions sincerely, they could have easily answered the genetics question also. That's what I felt. Yes, sir. And nevertheless, and uh, I want to know from your perspective because this is a common question I used to ask to anyone. So, from your perspective, so how long a candidate needs to prepare? To crack need assess with a good rank. I think uh, it's uh, six months is enough, sir. I feel because considering that to get a good rank, you really don't need to cover the entire syllabus, but you need to cover the important topics which are which should be spot on the examinations. So I think six months, but it's all about the revision, sir. It's about how many times we revise that makes much of a difference. Because even if we read an entire topic for one month and if we didn't revise it in the next coming 15 to 20 days. I don't think uh, there is use in reading that for one month, sir, because it will be gone by then. So Rika. I think revision is very, uh, revision is of utmost importance in getting a good rank, sir. Yeah, revision is the key, of course. Yes. And how long you think like you need time for revision? How much time for revision? Like 20 days, you said, like ideally, like how much it should be? Preferably first, uh, first revision it should be around like 20 to 25 days sir considering two days for one specialty like there are 12 specialties uh, overall so even if we uh, take two days to revise one specialty 
it will take 24 to 25 days and second region it should be done within one day or one end of day or so so i think within a span of 45 days we should at least cover three revisions to have a good grip on the subject that we read okay great so that tells you how much you worked hard because uh, if you're telling like i can crack this kind of tough exam in six months which means that six months you should put your 200 percent yes sir it's true sir definitely if you don't put your 200 percent i'm not saying 100 percent it's 200 percent if you don't put your 200 yes, in those six months you will not be able to crack the exam yes sir and again thank you very much dr manohar and uh, really really happy let me wish thank you, you on behalf of thank me you, and as well as on behalf of the entire triple team thank you sir Thank you so much, Dr. Manohar. Thank you very much once again. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.